from his leg break to his return. Conor McGregor has certainly been busy. Filming began for the highly anticipated season of The Ultimate Fighter 31. It's already generating more hype than any past season thanks to its two high-profile coaches. Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler will go head-to-head -head as the coaches of The Ultimate Fighter. Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler. McGregor made an unforgettable arrival at the Apex in Las Vegas, looking bigger than ever in a sharp purple suit. UFC couldn't help but share clips of this moment all over social media. And it's no wonder why, because it was quite the sight. McGregor hasn't shared any words on social media since then. But Chandler took to Twitter to share his thoughts on how day one of filming went. He wrote, Day one of TUF 31 in the books. Couldn't have gone better. Team Chandler is right where we need to be. It's still unclear what weight class the fight between McGregor and Chandler will take place in. Chandler assumes 170 pounds, while UFC President Dana White claims 155. Whatever the case, fans are already eagerly awaiting this highly anticipated matchup. TUF 31 will debut on ESPN Plus on May 30th and run until August 15th. This season premieres Tuesday, May 30th and runs through Tuesday, August 15th. But before then, we'll have to wait and see what McGregor decides once filming ends. And since it's Conor McGregor, you know there's going to be at least some sort of controversy following him. Well, this time is no different. Here we go again. The latest controversy surrounding the upcoming season of The Ultimate Fighter 31 involves none other than coach Conor McGregor. It seems like the Irishman is at it again. This time, he's been accused of replacing three fighters who had already earned their spots on his team with fighters that he already knows. The news first broke after sports agent Daniel Rubenstein responded to a tweet from MMA Orbit regarding the TUF 31 roster. Soon after, UFC middleweight Chris Curtis seemingly confirmed the allegation, claiming that he knew the cut fighters personally. Yikes! McGregor isn't new to controversy when it comes to the ultimate fighter. He previously gave his friend Artem Lobov a spot on the European team during season 2022. And he also allowed himself to bring an eliminated fighter back onto his own team. But this situation is much different. Now he's being accused of favoritism that could potentially harm other fighters' chances at success. To make matters worse, McGregor recently posted a video outside the TUF house late at night, and people were quick to notice that he was slurring his words leading many to believe that he was drunk on the job. And let's just say, Chael Sonnen wasn't too happy about it. The former coach of TUF issued a YouTube video where he made it clear that as a mentor, McGregor needs to hold himself to a higher standard. According to Sonnen, this kind of behavior isn't exactly setting the best example for his fighters and it doesn't demonstrate the level of responsibility necessary in leadership. He was also quick to point out that being drunk while around the TUF house doesn't exactly set a good example for anyone. At the end of the day, it's clear that Sonnen believes McGregor needs to take his new role on The Ultimate Fighter more seriously, and he needs to show some responsibility if he wants to be taken seriously as a mentor. It remains to be seen whether McGregor will heed Sonnen's words and put his best foot forward as a coach or if he'll continue to be the same old wild card we all know and love. But let's get back to the main topic, and that's McGregor picking his favorites to be on TUF. McGregor denied the allegation, but if it were true, would it really be so bad? For almost two decades now, TUF has been a mainstay of UFC programming. Initially, it was a much-needed platform for up-and-coming fighters to prove themselves. Now, though, things are different. With the show's sporting implications practically non-existent and the winners rarely becoming household names, it's clear that TUF has lost much of its initial luster. Rather than trying to retain its original magic, why not just lean into the reality TV nature of the show? Let McGregor pick his whole team, including referees. He's earned that right, and it could make for an entertaining series. McGregor's star power continues to diminish in the octagon, but perhaps this show can help him capitalize on his fame outside it. His inflammatory behavior raises eyebrows every time he steps into public view, so why not let him embrace goblin mode in a controlled environment? Let him shout at whomever he pleases and break whatever isn't bolted down. 
it would bring a unique, entertaining vibe to the show, something it desperately needs. The Ultimate Fighter has been stuck in a rut for years now, but with McGregor taking charge of this season, things might finally be looking up. Sure, it might be a wild ride, but isn't that what we signed up for when we agreed to watch TUF? Let's just hope the fighters don't get too caught up in the chaos. No one wants another war machine situation. Here's hoping McGregor can sprinkle his special brand of magic on this series and help it reclaim its former glory. Now that would be a sight to behold. But in the meantime, McGregor also has other things to worry about. His return. Initially, a lot of people thought he would face Charles Oliveira since it would literally be a blockbuster match to remember. But things didn't go that way. Conor McGregor seems to be avoiding a fight with former UFC heavyweight champion Charles Oliveira, and it's not hard to figure out why. After all, he hasn't defended any of his titles in the UFC despite winning at two weights. While Oliveira managed to win the belt and defend his title once before losing to Islam Makachev last year. Naturally, Oliveira isn't too pleased about this and called out McGregor during a Q&A session recently, accusing him of chickening out and handpicking his fights. He went on to say that he wouldn't call out the Irishman anymore as he knows what will likely happen if they do end up fighting. McGregor, on the other hand, is still recovering from an injury and is expected to return at welterweight for his next fight. He'll be coaching on the Ultimate Fighter before facing Michael Chandler, who's been confirmed as his next opponent. But another option for the former champion could be Rafael Dos Anjos, who was matched for a title fight in early 2016 before pulling out with an injury. McGregor was recently in conversation with the Mac Life ahead of the weekend and made it clear that he has nothing but respect for Chandler, calling him a good fighter and an athlete type of guy. However, when asked about the outcome of their fight later this year, he was understandably confident. I think I'm just going to slice through him. I think I'm a little too spicy for him than anyone else he's fought. Adding, a little too snappy and whippy, I think I'll slice through him. Both fighters have a lot riding on this fight after losses against Dustin Poirier. McGregor has been out of action since suffering a broken leg in UFC 264, while Chandler was defeated at UFC 281 in November last year. It should be an interesting matchup between two experienced fighters, and it'll be interesting to see who comes out on top. I personally think that the Ultimate Fighter will really bring a new layer to this fight. We're gonna spend months seeing these two antagonize each other, and it's all gonna culminate in a fight. McGregor's comeback fight, nonetheless. It's definitely gonna be the most exciting fight of the year. And who knows, it could even break records.